Hey Team Hustle, um, I'm Katie Rupert. I'm in St. Louis, a um, uh, director on the Team Hustle Downline. And I am so excited to have the opportunity to do our Tuesday tip. I know Tracy has been traveling for um, the downline visit to Baton Rouge this week. And so um, I am filling and I'm happy to be here. So I have a Tuesday tip for you. I was really racking my brain. Of course, uh, you know, I get this opportunity. I'm like, oh, I don't know. There's so many good tips I could share. And I'd love to share um, lots of them. Uh, but I have been really focused on trying to build my virtual business and learn all of the best practices and tips from people and consultants all around in our team and out. And I know that um, because I don't, you know, I didn't start out as, as a confident virtual party person. I started my business uh, before virtual parties were a thing and so I learned how to be really good at the in-person shows and I love being around people and so I didn't give them much credit but over the last um, well since January um, I have been really trying to learn everything I can about virtual parties and I, I thought that I'd bring you a few tips that I found and maybe you can try them so my number one tip is to keep trying so if you have a party that just doesn't get any interaction and no, um, you know, no engagements and no orders, keep trying. So um, try something new. Keep trying the same things. Really focus in. I think the biggest difference I've seen is partnering with my host, letting her know like, hey, a great party has 10 to 15 orders on it. Who do you know that you can ask? Hey, have you seen the Pamper Jeff catalog lately? And um, and really partnering with her as a one-on-one -on -one relationship, you are helping her get connected with some free stuff. Okay, so um, that is my first tip: just keep on trying. And then there are two things that um, I've tried in recent that I really like. The first one, I don't know if this is kind of common knowledge or not, but do a welcome post and if you're on a laptop I'm not sure how to look at this from um, a phone so if you know I need you to tell me okay but whenever someone adds people to a group then those attendees will click join and you'll see after a day or two that it says um, on the right hand side of the group it'll say 12 new members this this week or 16 new members have joined welcome them and there's like a button there and if you click that button it tags everyone that joined okay and it only lets you tag them once so you know that you haven't duplicated so you click the welcome guests or welcome new members and then it says let's welcome our new members and then tags them all I changed that to say something super simple first of all I put a gif in there that's like a hey or hello or there's a cute Mrs. Doubtfire one um, and there's I my favorite one is well or whale hello there if you type in whale it says it's a whale jumping out of the ocean and I think it's cute and there's also a cute little seal that says sup so anyway I'll do the gif and then I'll change that where it says welcome new members and I'll say we are so glad you clicked join thank you for being part of uh, Katie's pampered chef party this week we are going to have fun and give away prizes and learn about all the products. For your first ticket into our door prize drawing, all you have to do is ask for the catalog link. And then immediately, almost every time, those 12 people or at least half of them will say, link me or give me, what's the link? And I, and I will reply to them as the consultant. Ticket added, messaging you the catalog. And then I go to their name and I click private message and I say, thank you so much for joining the party. Keep coming back so that you get more chances to win. Here's the catalog link and I'm here to help you. Have you ever been to a Pampered Chef party before? And that is the private message. Most people will say, you know, respond to that or at least you'll see that they've seen it and accepted the request, okay? Even if they don't reply to you, they've accepted the request, and that way when you go back at the end of the party to say thanks for being part of the party, was there anything that you needed, or can I spoil you with a party, you've already been connected on the private message. You don't have to, like, you have less people 
not see your messages. So that's my tip. Um, and the only other thing um, that I, I thought that I would share is something I tried last or on the 22nd, and I, I think I liked it, okay? I am not saying you should do this. I am saying this is an option that you could try. So I have been getting uh, three, four, five hosts each week to start a party towards the weekend, okay? I've been doing this since the beginning, and it's been going pretty well. What I did last week at the advice of another team's director team that they're, they're trying, I just figured I'd try it too, is they are doing a mega party. So I did on the 22nd of February, I launched a one pot meals mega party. I, I had six hosts. And so um, in, instead of each host having their own private party, I said, okay, we have a group of people that are helping us invite to this mega party and you'll invite your friends and then what you're going to have to do is private message everyone your link because I'm not going to be sharing any links on the actual party, you, but you want to make sure they order for you if they're going to order. So I almost like spun it as this is easier because you're not responsible for all of the invites. In reality, I still want them to add as many people. Um, but it's kind of nice because I had this group chat with all six hosts and I said, all right, I need someone to post this, um, this fun little gift today. Who's our volunteer today? And I had two people post in our, two hosts post in our group each day. And then when one of, um, I had a private message with people like, Hey, I saw that you had four people join. Who else can you think of that might want some one pot meal ideas? So the difference was I didn't post links. Every, um, I, but I had a lot more people. There were 112 people in the party by the time it ended. Um, I had th four of the six parties got to at least 200. One of them was at 730 and one of them was at 400. And the total sales for this six host party was um, $1,700. So it didn't necessarily give me a ton more sales, but it didn't give me less, and I only had to worry about one group. The other thing that I did differently was I gave a prize away every single day. Um, it was just a season's best cookbook or a paring knife. So I had it. I would put daily prize post, and I did that five times, and um, it ended up not being it ended up not being as um, any more money because I always gave away like a $6 prize at the end of each party. So this was just kind of about the same. And I did a grand prize at the end and you only got in the grand prize drawing for ordering, for booking a party and for uh, learning about being a consultant. So the grand prize drawing, I, I gave away the dollar value that we had orders. So for the first half of the week, I was like, okay, we have six orders. That means I'm giving a $6 grand prize. Every time you order, you get $1 added to the price. Ended up giving a $25 prize away. I was good with that because I had $25, 25 orders in one week. It's like, okay, that's pretty good for me. Um, so that's my tip. Gosh, I don't know how long this was supposed to be, but I hope that someone will um, comment and tell me what are your tips for virtual parties and um, will you Will you try those? And if if what I said doesn't make sense, please ask so that I can like send a screenshot or something or explain a little better. Okay, you guys go out and have an awesome, terrific Tuesday.